So this is Rampage. Uh, Rampage came out in 2013. Uh, it's a manual dexterity game. Uh, so we're going to smash some stuff and pretend to be big giant monsters. You know, right off the bat, I really kind of enjoy this because there's, even on the cards, check out the cards here. Zoom in on the cards. <laughs> These cards have like such a, a nice and a fun, yeah, unique kind of art style Mine to them. Mine doesn't do it. That it's just, visually, it's just kind of Ooh, fun to look at and kind of just, it's just really neat to, you know, just take a look at it and go, like, oh, I like these teeth that's pieces. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Look at these teeth pieces. These are, these are classy. So the idea, as you might expect, is rampage through downtown Tokyo and eat all the little peoples. You get points for getting all six of your clothes. Each set of six guys you have gives you ten points. And the next points you get for your character stuff, which I'll get to in just a minute. Now the fun thing about this little setup here is that the number of people you can eat each turn is equal to the number of teeth you have. You'll always start with two teeth on there because they're printed on there nice and fancy. And you're going to start with six of these tooth tokens on there. Well, four of them, total of six teeth that you can eat. And as the game goes on, you will lose teeth. On your turn, you can do two of four different actions. First of all, you can move. Moving is very complicated. You want to get down here very careful with this. To move your character, you take off the monster from it. And that's where you end up. Now, let's say you land next to a building. If you're on one of these sidewall pieces here, you can body slam the building. Do so. You take your monster, hold it horizontally above the table. Nice! And you I break think. stuff. Now, Let's say you're not next to a building and can't body slam it. You also get to use a breath attack. This is also very, very complicated. Let's say I flicked my guy, he ended up here. If I wanted to use a breath attack, I did this very complex means where I put my head on top of the monster, like so. Yeah! And Next stuff gets knocked down, blown away. Now the fourth action you can do is kind of context sensitive. If you're in an area where there's a truck, these little mm -hmm. red bits here, you can do a throw action with that. You take that, put it on top of your monster's head, and if there's anything you knock over, you get to keep it at the end of the turn if it's in your section. Once you've done your two actions, any little meeples in your section of the board, you can eat up. What defines a section? Up to your teeth. Right. Okay. It's kind of the color-coded section. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So if you lose teeth, you can't eat people. You always have two printed on there. Oh, yeah. So you can see two, if nothing else. Each player will get certain cards. You'll get character cards. These determine extra points you get at the end of the game. Like this one here is a punk rocker. Your, every set of black guys and gray guys you get gives you an extra three points. So what else do you get besides the character cards are superpowers. These ones you can use instead of your regular actions or change your actions a little bit. For instance, this one here is the Kung Fu Master. Instead of flicking around a, mo a monster truck, you can make around your little feet and land where those are. Mm -hmm. And the last super thing you get, and this is one you want to keep secret, is a super secret power. These you get to use once every turn. For instance, like this one here is really hungry. Once a turn, you can eat two guys for every one tooth you have, instead of just one guy per tooth. Once you get that, it's gone. You don't use it anymore. Okay, so I take my dude off, and then I just flick at this building. Of wherever you want it to go. Now, if you go off the side of the map, though, you will lose a tooth. And you gotta start from the beginning again. Let's see. Bam. Oh. No! Oh. No! The bounce back! Uh, the tooth chipper! I want! No! I want to redo! I want to redo! No! Give me it! No! Give my tooth back! Give my tooth back! I brush my teeth! It seems kind of risky. You know what? I'm, I'm a blowhard, so I, I'm pretty sure that I could blow this whole house down with my huffing and puffing. Right here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So does this count as mine, or? No, <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> all right, so I get to eat all these dudes. Not quite. No? No. You do get to eat the tops of these when all the maples are off of them. So you take those, and all this stuff goes behind your little monster head so you can keep track of points. Okay. Now at the end of your turn, any maples that are in this section you can eat. So there's two. But, first of all, fun things happens. When guys get knocked off the board, they go in the handy dandy little chart here. And whenever one of those gets filled up, or filled that up, gets bad stuff happening. Uh -oh. For instance, the first time it gets filled up, the person who knocked up the last guy loses a tooth. Oh my no! god! <laughs> no! And the person to your left gets to move your monster wherever the heck he feels like. I want to place Jeff over here. Let's see, him, let's see him flick himself off the board again. Woo! But then I get to eat, right? Nope, only if they're still in your area. No! <laughs> let's flick. Do it softly. Oh! Oh! 
I'll lose the tooth! <laughs> you can't handle the tooth. Damn. Do you have move twice? <laughs> you can yeah, use twice as oh, okay. my two actions. All right. I'm going to use my super secret power uh, to get three pow superpowers. One, two, three, three powers! So I can put my token on top of this building. Yeah. For climber. Yep. Okay. And then I can flick from here. Yep. Okay. Right. So I'm going to flick from here. Yeah! <laughs> that was super useful. Um, then I will long tail. You can demolish that building. And demolish a building. Now remember, you can do it from any height, John. Any yeah, height. Any height. Alright, any height. What? Oh, Jesus. I don't. Oh, the humanity! Wow! Oh! Wow, that black guy really flew. <laughs> he must have been Hancock. Will Smith movies are a thing. <laughs> Ooh, Joffrey. Ooh, I might want to go into that yellow square. Bing! You pick up the truck and chuck it at another I'm going to pick up the truck and chuck it at you in the face. Can I do that? Yeah. Huh? Aha! Ooh. Da 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 da! Boom! What if I hit him? Then that, he would have eaten one of his teeth. I have to knock him off or just hit him? You have to knock him over. No! But I will eat all yeah, of these guys. You eat four of those finest. guys. What? You eat four of four. those guys. Munch four of them, Jeff. Got I live. Oh! I appear here. And then. Ah! Ho ho ho! Ah! There we go. That worked out well for me. So check a bus like a boss. Oh, right in your face, Stu! Excuse me, Stu. What? Red right your face! I thought we were friends. <laughs> we are friends. Yeah. Oh. No! The bus went off! We go right. over here! I'm you gonna chuck another team. bus. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! He dropped his own! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Dick man. No, you keep that one. Oh, I keep that, that one. That counts as points yeah. for you. <laughs> this is happening. Jay Pumpkin. I'm gonna blow attack on your face. What? Why me? I haven't done anything to you. I'm gonna blow on him too. <laughs> oh That's my right. god! <laughs> you just killed four dudes. You're gonna lose a tooth and something else. What? You blew people off the table! Yeah, but he loses a tooth. I don't care. Lose your last tooth! You lose your last tooth, too! Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just hear him? You yeah, had a bunch of meeples off the board. You get You know the what? Hell out you of guys should be friends. <laughs> See, I'm gonna put him behind a building <laughs> so he couldn't blow it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. He's already knocked out. <laughs> Yes! He blew another one off! <laughs> you know, I really like how the board has for the buildings it's raised, which means for flicking, it's actually a real, you know, death. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! You blew me over! You stay knocked over, jerk. You stay knocked over until the. What? <laughs> you weren't on the. Oh, yeah. You, you know, know, we almost forgot about that power. <laughs> Oh! Everybody gets an action. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, so you I'll take two this red one and the blonde one. Boop a doop a doop. Bigger monster. I feel confident in my blowing powers. <laughs> oh. But I, I still get to. So I get this. The table. No dudes here. And I get to chop down! Did you get the two rooftops there too? Yes, I blew all those rooftops off. I get to chop down on. And that's not in there. A uh, green and a red. Boop, 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 boop. And that's game. Uh, 
10 for having more blue guys because I'm shy. Five for the tiles, and then another 10 for a variety pack. So that's 25 total. I had 20 total. I had 19. But I ate more teeth than everybody! Ah. Actually, you know, now that we have those scores tabulated, and don't take this as like a smug kind of thing, but that actually, that game's a lot. Yeah. It doesn't. It, that score, you know, says that this, this was a much closer game than we would have originally thought. Mm -hmm. That was actually really cool. I actually like this experience a lot. I like throwing things. There's a the lot. Top. Yeah, I, <laughs> a lot of the really cool little physical moves are really amazing. I think the I think that there was a point where <laughs> the game digressed into stop that. Another kiss, another fight, another kiss, another. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a point where we were all just like, well. So my only concern with this game is this: <laughs> make more dino. <laughs> if you were to early on just if all three if all three or four players early on were just like ah <laughs> and knock each other's monsters over. And then you go through the rest of the game with two teeth. <laughs> You're very it, is, it is cruelly <laughs> easy be, to lose teeth. Yeah. It is <laughs> just. You're really I mean, impotent when you do that. Like, I have no teeth. I, yeah, yeah, it's. I wish. I really do. You are absolutely right. I really do wish I had kept the always have four teeth. <laughs> yeah. Also, I it, I wish that I'd have realized because like both me and Jeff had a huge pile of extra meeples. Um. That easily could have translated into other points. Right. Had I realized that it was too, it was yeah, it was the I, full sets. I really feel like there should have been more points than just just for variety packs. Yeah. Like so, I mean, I get I get that the cool. character abilities were things that you know. Yeah. We should have been angling for here, but I mean, it just kind of feels like well, you know, you pick up what you pick up. It should have been like some, maybe just like um, you know well, one point one point for every two extra meeples just yeah. in general. Yeah. You Your know? shy thing won you the game. I mean, oh, absolutely! Like many, yeah, I, well, I was angling for it from the beginning. I was like, check it out. Well, I was trying to, but I just I couldn't get to the red meeples. <laughs> yeah, I used to have teeth. That would have been twelve points for me, but no. So my and my thought really no, was no, not my teeth. That That's actually kind of one of the. I, it sounds like it's one of the worst character cards in the game. <laughs> um, Given so how the, easy it is. The to reason lose a tooth. that the reason that my score was as close as your you know, to yours mm -hmm. uh, is really because I did very poorly. But I just started smashing stuff. Well, it's like I took a bunch of tiles. Look at these destruction tiles. Look well, at this. no, I mean that's it. Is I took three. a bunch of destruction tiles. Yeah. Um, and that was why at the end I was just like, oh well, you know what? I don't have enough meeples. I'm starting <laughs> smashing buildings up. Yeah, you were just so. you were smashing buildings. I was just like you know just walking along, just eating up everybody with a microphone or a camera. Yep. I really enjoy this game a lot. I really feel like this was. This is fun, this is amusing. It's something that you don't have to take very seriously, especially given how physical and everything is when with the flicking and the blowing and everything. It's just, it feels like you're there and you're relaxed. This isn't something where you have to really kind of boil your brain at all in order to kind of not hammer out a solution. You can just relax, have fun, knock over some meeples and eat some guys. I think this game has some real strategy to it. I think that there is a lot of win conditions here. Um, whether it be collecting specific types of meeples or just collecting large portions of meeples or uh, building tiles, whatever it may be. I think that, because honestly, if early on you decided that, okay, I'm just going to smash every building as quickly as I can and take those tiles before everybody else can eat meeples up and end the game early, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And it doesn't matter to you that you're losing teeth because you're just walking through smashing stuff. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of different win conditions, um, which is good because it provides, even with a simple game, it provides some some real strategy to it. Roar, I'm a monster! Roar, roar. That that's what I liked about this game. Well said. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.